Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, back in my garage. And today we're gonna be putting the order into my car. So I got my Jay-Z right here. If you guys watched the previous video, you guys know that I tried putting the motor in last video. I was missing the pilot bushing for the adapter plate that goes into the flywheel. So let me show you guys real quick. So it's a bushing right here that is custom made for the flywheel that I'm using. And it uses a CD09 like OEM bearing on the inside. And unfortunately my flywheel didn't have it when I bought it, which I bought it used. That's the reason I didn't have it. So I had to wait a whole week for this to come in. Uh, finally it came in yesterday and just now I have the time to put the motor in. So I'm waiting my buddy Fernando to come in because I'm doing everything AN on the car. So he was here yesterday and we welded some of the water lines to AN fittings. And uh, we have we needed one more fitting. So I went ahead, bought the other uh, 10 AN fitting so we can weld onto the water pipe. So I went ahead and got these little fittings right here. So these are stainless uh, 10 AN bungs and they're going on the water pipe for the car. So this little fittings right here are going, uh, one of them is going to go in the back of the motor. So we have to chop this down, of course, to make it, you know, where we want it. But we want them to see how long the fitting is going to be before we do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to loop these with uh, the back of the head and loop it to the heater core line. Since I'm not running a heater uh, on this car, I never have and I'm not going to now. So, so I'm going to go ahead, just weld, cut it around here and weld it straight to this. Because my original plan was to run my cooling lines for the turbo out of this. But then this would have choked the head from flowing enough. Since I was going to go from a 10 AN to a 6 AN, which is the lines for the turbo. So I ended up going uh, to the little side uh, port right here. Welded a bung on this. And we put another one underneath the water neck, which is right here. So that AN line runs all the way to the back. And I have to move the line, make it how it's supposed to. But uh, so the line is going to be tucked up underneath here. And, you know, I have fire sleeve on both lines. So, you know, they shouldn't get hot. It should be all fine. Uh, the oil line should be fine since it's steel braided. Uh, we don't have to do any of that. But AN lines, you know, we want to make sure they're as safe as possible. But uh, after he comes and weld this on, uh, we should be good to just put the trans, which actually I'm going to put the trans in now. I'm here with my brother. We're going to put the trans in before he comes in. So once uh, Fernando comes here, get this welded, and then we're good to put the motor into the car. For the meantime, I'm going to go ahead, clean the flywheel. Uh, put in the new bushing that's over there. I got my clutch right here on this box, which is a twin disc clutch. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on real quick before it gets here. All right, guys, so you can see the transmission's on the car now. Clutch, everything is good. Uh, I went in pretty smooth. I went ahead and bought a new alternator from a Tundra because the stock ones from my S300. Uh, they made, I think they're like 100 amp, and these are 150 amp, so I won't have an issue running my fuel pumps and my uh, my big ass fans that I have. But for another fun that came, he finally woke up at five o'clock. So, uh, <laughs> no, that's good. But he has a fitting right here that we're going to weld onto the pipe behind the block. So, this fitting is going to go behind, and then after that, we're going to measure to cut the other, uh, this line right here so we can put the other fitting on it. And after that, we're, we're done. And we can put the motor in the car and we start bolting everything down. I don't know how it's going to come out. We're about to fill it out. I should be good. Right, so he went ahead and did the first line. I'm gonna let it cool down just because I don't want to warp the threads or the fitting. Well, he did the first half, I guess. So uh, the camera focuses. That's pretty good. So we're gonna let it cool down for a couple minutes, then finish it up, and that should be good to go into the car. And then we'll go ahead, pull this one out, cut it, and weld this one. All right, so he went ahead and finished it. Um, he did two, two passes just to make sure it didn't leak and had no holes. Because I really don't want to fucking change this what's inside, inside the car. But, uh, I mean, that's good to me. I would never be able to do anything like that. I suck at welding, so it's pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> so now we let it cool down, put it on the block, and then measure for the other one so we can cut the other one and make the line and do, you know, get the other one welded, all that. And I forgot how to change the brake booster, and my friend there came over, and he's taking the brake booster for me because I'm too fat to get on the, on the bottom of the car. So um, I'm gonna go ahead inside, grab the new brake booster that I have inside and bring it out here because it's about to get this out and we're almost ready to put this motor in the car. All right guys, so as you can see, the fitting is on with the line. Uh, he's about to weld the other uh, fitting on it so we can uh, go ahead and bolt everything down, which the line is gonna be shaped just like so. And it should work pretty good. Hopefully this is not, you know, doesn't hit the firewall, which I don't think it will because it's almost parallel with the valve cover maybe slightly off, like from right here. But um, yeah, 
it's gonna be good we should, we should have enough space to you know uh put the harness into the coil pack and i'm really happy how it's coming out make sure that's fair enough for helping me and uh because i want to do it myself but we only have one uh fitting for each pipe so if i have multiple fittings i would have tried myself because if i fucked it up we could redo it but i don't want to fuck it up so it's gonna go ahead and get that welded and we should be good and shout out to Adair for putting in my booster uh so we get this new booster hopefully it's gonna hit the intake manifold if it does i'm gonna have to take it out and put in uh like a chase base booster delete which i don't want to but uh if i have to i have to so we'll see in a minute once we're ready to put the motor in all right guys so as you can see we have the lines all hooked up big shout out to fernando for welding this pipe up um smell pretty good so we got all them welded we got the turbo feeds the uh the uh, head drain and it came out pretty good i like how it came out so we got all, both of these wrapped with a uh, heat sleeve just to make sure it doesn't get hot and then i'll have the the turbo blanket on it as well but yeah i think the motor is good i ended up putting the alternator in from the tundra and we had to chimp it uh, we actually had to cut i think what like three or four mils out right something like that it was like four mils. so we had to cut some of it out uh, just to align it because it wasn't aligned but now it's perfectly aligned and yeah i mean we'll be here for a while but i think we're ready to finally put the motor in and start making the exhaust tomorrow hopefully or uh this upcoming week all right guys so we finished everything everything is done we're ready to put the car in the the motor in the car and i pulled the dipstick out she says and stick out but um we just push the car the car back a little bit uh we should have enough space to swing the engine stand over we just gotta be careful here it doesn't get stuck with the cracks in the stupid garage but uh yeah i'm gonna have another record because last time he helped me with the motor he dropped it on me so <laughs> all right here all right push it away huh? push it away <laughs> <laughs> Push the hoist instead of pulling yeah. the engine. Push it forward as you're lowering it. Can we go lift by hand a little bit so you can fit the jack? That's your hand. Bro. Don't put so, your hand on the Yeah, yeah. Put it on the side. That f is hitting on the AM in the back. Yeah, it is hitting the AM. All right, guys, you can see the engine's in the car, and uh, it's slightly crooked, tilted to the left, so we're trying to straighten this out right now. But uh, it's hitting the uh, brake booster a little bit, like barely touching it. And it's not casting it to go down. So once it goes down, I guess it's barely touching it. So once it passes that part, uh, the, the engine will be straight again. But um, yeah, we're trying to figure out how to get it to go down a little bit and uh, pass the brake booster so it's straight again. But it's uh, to be honest, this motor's been a pain in the ass to put in here. But it looks pretty good, though. All right, guys, so we got the motor in. And it's been a while because I had to take the whole intake manifold off and hammer in the brake booster like around an inch probably quarter uh no, like three quarters of an inch not sure if it's gonna work if it doesn't work i'll pull it out and i'll put a chase base uh booster delete but hopefully it works i really want a booster but at least now if i have to take the manifold off it's super simple you know it's it's like half an inch away from the booster so it comes right out it comes off right away and it's super simple to take off but the motor looks super good in there and as you can see there's not really that much space here probably around four or five inches so i'm gonna have to cut the support off so I can move my radiator forward and then I can fit my, my fans in there because right now I don't even think the radiator will fit in there. It's so tight. So uh, yeah, definitely have to do that coming up. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the whole bracket and all that, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. So the only thing we have to do is just tighten the bolts because you can see that one's not all the way in. Uh, we just check that the motor is leveled and it is leveled. So we can go ahead and tighten all the bolts down and uh, do the transmission mount. But yeah. So far, so good. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm over here underneath the car working on the transmission mount. And 
um i had to cut the mount that they sent me because uh these mounts are for a 2gz studio 9 uh, with a collins adapter so it doesn't fit exactly how it's supposed to or like fit from uh, with a collins adapter and i'm using like a pmc adapter i think it's from or auto support engineering something like that anyway um so as you can see the bracket slightly off on both sides so it's not a big deal you know here we have about half an inch gap so i'm gonna have some stock uh some metal stock here i'll go ahead and cut a piece i uh, just make both sides fit so this one is around an inch and a qu an inch and a quarter and then over here we have around half an inch so i'm just gonna go ahead uh, cut a piece of metal making both fit uh, over here as you can see it's not perfectly aligned uh so i was thinking about just going on a slight angle just making a match it doesn't have to look pretty all right so i went ahead and got a little piece of cardboard so we're gonna be putting one on this side a uh, little bracket or a little piece of metal and then one on this side so it'll be two of them and you know i should hold enough and then of course make the one for this side i was gonna do only one side but just to be safe you know it doesn't hurt just to do uh, both sides and since we're already here you know do it once better do it once and do it twice so yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead cut uh, this piece of metal out of this flat stock and um get it all tacked up all right so as you can see i got this to cut up and they look pretty good so it's gonna be welded just like so and then i have the other part that goes that's gonna go on this side so i'm gonna have bring out the welder tack this and then once it's fully tacked take it outside and go ahead and clean it up and weld it up all right guys so the bracket is done and uh some molds came out pretty decent in order to all the melted paint and stuff but it didn't come out bad at all you know it should work for what it is over here i had the gas too low as you can see it has some porosity but um yeah it's not bad if you saw how this, i mocked this up there was like an open circle here uh, there was an open square right here so i went ahead and actually filled the whole square completely on both sides uh just to be more rigid i just have to sand this down it looks so ugly because the paint is all melted but um yeah it's not bad all right guys so as you can see motor mounts in and fit perfectly i'm really excited how it came out and i'm glad it wasn't that hard to make it was pretty simple um doesn't look the best right here because i filled that little square part but hey it's whatever it's gonna do its job if you don't like it go sake so i ended up going with the serial 9 shifter and i was gonna piss because it said they had it in stock and when i uh, i ordered it it said that it's a three week wait which is almost like two weeks ago i think now so hopefully by next week they get back to me and they send it so I can put it in and keep mucking up everything else in the car. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the exhaust. I'm gonna lower the car, see how it looks. Um, I think there should be enough space for the exhaust to go through. Uh, it's gonna be a little tight right here, but uh, I'm not sure if I wanna go like cross over because the exhaust in this car are on the opposite side. So uh, they're on the driver's side. So I'm gonna have to cross over and go underneath the drive shaft. But I do not have a drive shaft, so it's gonna be hard to tell. All right, guys, so here I have my first uh, 45 that I'm going to put on. I just measured it in this wash. It worked perfect with the other 90. But um, so I was practicing over here. So this is without filler. And then with filler, I literally only did that much. They didn't do anything else. But uh, I'm just going to tack them and then I could practice more. But my friend Fernando already woke up and he's heading over here now. So at least I'm just going to tack this and tack whatever I can before he gets here. And then we can decide either we uh, tag or we um, put in uh, filler wire. All right, guys, so I went ahead and tacked part of the dump pipe on. And let me tell you, it looks pretty good. It's like perfectly where I need it to be. Uh, and I have enough space to run my wastegate. So it's pretty good. But now the thing is, like, I don't really have any more bends <laughs> unless we want to make pie cuts, which I don't think we want to. So uh, I do have this one that Benji gave me which I can use all the way to the bottom. So this might work if I cut it right by the V-band. And uh, actually, I could use the V-band. Um, and I can just cut it right here so I can run it to the back. Because I only need one more band so I can make this work. So if I cut this pipe um, right before this bung, like right before this weld, I think I can make it work. But uh, for now, we're using a straight, uh, straight piece and probably around a couple inches so it meets down there which should be good all right guys so i went ahead and i finished welding the one pipe i had done the v-band on my left friend do the v-band but i finished this one this is a like first real pipe i ever do um 
you know, not too terrible. I have to work on my shakiness. You can see I shake a lot. And I had to stop a lot because since it's, you know, the bend is weird, um, I had to stop constantly to, you know, start over. So you can see, you know, I did that part, then I did that part, then I stopped and over here, I was getting uncomfortable and I was like going off as you can see. So, you know, for being my first pipe, I don't think it's too terrible, you know. So I'm gonna let Fern weld the, the V-band because I don't want to warp it. So we're just gonna weld, you know, piece by piece. And then I was gonna weld on the inside, but he doesn't want me to, he wants to do the outside. Cause I mean, I can do the inside and it'll be perfectly fine, but I'll let him weld it since I did that. But uh, I do not have a 90, so we might have to do some pipe cuts to make up a 90 uh, so we can finish at least the dump pipe tonight. If not, I'm just gonna order some and get some here in tomorrow. All right guys, so I went ahead and welded the bottom. Actually, so before I... So we went to Tony's, he gave us this, and then we went next door to uh, Josue's house. And Tony had given that to Josue, so we stole it. We haven't told Tony, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy him one. <laughs> um, but so I welded that on, and uh, some spaces, are, some parts are good, some are bad. I was just messing with the foot settings and like trying to get better. But uh, yeah, this is Tony's. So we have a little gap right here. This pipe was already cut previously. So this side, I cut this side and this side was already cut. And this is a slight gap, but nothing my boy can can do, right? This guy. <laughs> That's when he took off the helmet. He's like, can you weld this? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's begging to weld. He wanted to weld that side. I had to beg him not to weld it. Cause then he's gonna be like, oh no, I made the full exhaust myself. No one helped me. Yeah. Talking mad shit. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, he's way, way better weld than I am. As you can see. All right guys, so I just went ahead and I finished one of the V-bands and this is nowhere near perfect or like decent i mean it's decent for me uh this is like the real first time i ever weld you know compared to the other two i did uh, but this is with filler the other two i didn't do it with filler wire i did those with filler because um you know the v-band and the these are different sizes so you have to do with filler to make up for the little gap that he has or where they merge whatever um the first real pipe i did was this one that i showed you guys earlier so i did this weld about almost two months now and I did those welds and I never touched it again. So two months and I come back for my second time ever welding um, stainless. I went ahead and did this. For me, it's not too terrible. I bet if I spend, you know, week here working with all this pipe, I guarantee I can be like half decent, uh, but I'm very happy how this came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and now get the other side of the V-band, which is already attached to this. I'm gonna come over here to the dump pipe and uh, I have to tack it to this. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm super pumped up right now. Um, I, I can't believe I, I can actually weld now with the TIG welder. And I, you know, not be perfect, but at least it gets the job done. So uh, once I'm done with the exhaust, my intercooler pipe is actually coming in today. So I'll probably call over Tony and Fernando so they can teach me how to weld more aluminum. And so I can get more seat time on the other machine. And hopefully I can learn more. Uh, we already went through a lot of this bottle, but um, if we ran out, if we ran out of this bottle, I have a small one as a backup. But yeah, enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, take the V-band off, put it over there, see how where I want it. Take everything off, put it back on the table, tack it, put everything back in the car, make sure it fits, take it out, put it back on the table, and weld it. So I still have a lot to do, but uh, it's coming along very well. All right, guys. So as you can see, the exhaust is all the way back, but not fully welded. So from the, the tip to the V-band right here, it's not welded, as you can see, it's only tacked. Um, all these joints are tacked. And let me tell you, doing this underneath the car has been a headache. It's holding everything by himself. It's been super annoying. I was gonna call my friend Fernando, but um, he's always helping him, so I didn't wanna bother him again. But I'm pretty sure he would've come. I, I was trying to do it by myself, and then I have a pretty big length, like from here all the way to the front, you know, it's all one piece. So putting that up by myself, was terrible. I mean, it's a zip tie to hold everything up. It's taken me hours just to mock everything up, just because I'm alone. Um, if I had someone here with me, I would have been done, like fully welded everything today. But it's already super late, and I'm really tired from um, like from like working on this car. I've been here probably for like six hours today, just working on this stupid exhaust. Um, but yeah, so I, I got everything tacked. I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll come back and finish it. But uh, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, I'm so annoyed right now. It it's been taking so long. All right, guys, so it's the next day, and I got Fern over here because he's going to be welding, as you can see. It's been pretty good, and I've been sucking ass with these pipes. I ain't going to zoom in, but some of them are good. <laughs> or oh, not even good. Like, it's mostly ass. Uh, we had gaps, and I was trying to do it with a wire. We ran out of gas, so I had to use my small bottle. 
only half of them has to be done but we have this b-band and the other one in the car and then we're done with the full exhaust and then tomorrow the hangers are coming in so we can go ahead and put up the hangers all right guys so you can see the exhaust is fully on I ignored this uh this welds they were not the best they had <laughs> i had a pretty big gap so uh this was one of the best that was mig welded with the rust ignore that that looks like shit but um at least the exhaust is fully on so you can see all the <clears throat> all the hangers are on um over here i was using 116s rod which was too thin as you can see it got way too hot then i'll switch to 330 seconds and it came out slightly better not the best but i'm just glad that we finally finished it i put a lot of time into this and we got a hot uh, we think we have it high enough well this is the highest it will go anyway so and the car's gonna be in 18s and it won't be slammed so it shouldn't rub but uh yeah i'm super excited super happy how it came out and then like no it comes all the way to the end looks pretty good super excited all right guys so as you can see the exhaust is finally done i'm super excited because to be honest it's been a long week from just waiting on parts waiting from the hangers waiting on the 245 degree angles so from waiting on all these parts that i needed for the car finally finished it uh, to be honest i really enjoyed doing it i thought i was gonna drag it and i didn't want to do it but it was nice seeing myself progress a little bit more on welding uh from literally this is like the first time i ever weld like i showed you the other pipe that i welded it was was the first time i welded and then i just went balls deep on this exhaust and it actually came out pretty nice i mean it came out halfway decent not too nice but not too bad um i'm just, i'm happy how it came out i probably did like around 60 percent of, of it myself and shout out to fernando for actually helping me do the other the other 40 percent so he helped me a lot and I'm really appreciative. And big shout out to you, Fernando. And shout out to my friend Diary for coming in today and actually helping me do the hangers because uh, I needed help holding up the exhaust so I can tack in and, and weld the hangers. So big shout out to him as well. And to everyone who's been helping me lately, really appreciate it. So finally done with this video, I'm gonna go ahead, edit this video and start working tomorrow on hopefully the fuel system or the intercooler piping. Um, the last weld I did, I literally ran out of gas. I used my big bottle and a small bottle. I went ahead and I looked online and I saw that the air gas place that I go to is gonna be closed. But there's a welding shop down the street, so I'm gonna see if they're gonna be open and see if they can fill up my bottles. But anyways, enough talking. Um, I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to do a putting the engine in and doing the exhaust video. And I think I accomplished that with this. So if you guys wanna see the fuel system, the intercooler piping next, make sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.